Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back and today we're gonna talk about conditional statements. So uh, for, for those of you who have experience in programming, then you know what I'm talking about. It's just, you know, conditionals in programming is like one of the basic concepts that um, without conditionals, it would be very uh, difficult to make programs because conditionals allow us to to make decisions I mean it allows us to specify the computer to make decisions so let's begin go to file new uh, save it to your desktop and then give it a name I'm gonna call mine conditionals uh, dot ASM save and then um, uh, you know conditionals are like if statements else statements so we have two sections that data and that text so that data for all the data and text for all the instructions so I want to have a few messages here so let me make a message give it a name and then the data type is text that ask is e, and then um, the numbers are equal okay and another message, I'm going to call it message2. Uh, the data type is that ASCII Z. And I'm going to say nothing happened. Okay. So I have these two messages right here. Uh, the numbers are equal and nothing happened. So in the instruction section, I'm going to make a, a label for my main function. And I have to. This is mandatory. I have to make um, a syscall to end the program. So I'm going to make a syscall um, to end the program. And as you know, or you should know by now if you watch my previous tutorials, it's loading media dollar sign v0, 10 and Cisco. So this is going to tell the system to end, that the program is going to end here. All right. So let's say that we have two numbers, right? And I'm going to say at immediate dollar sign T0 dollar sign 0 dollar sign 0 comma uh, 5. And I have another number at immediate dollar sign T1 dollar sign 0 comma 20. So the numbers are different. But... Um, Let's say that I want to compare. Let's say I want to compare and, uh, okay, computer, I want to know if the numbers in T0 and the number in T1, if, I want to know if they're, if they're equal. How can you do that? Well, you, you use a special instruction and the instruction is called branch if equal, right here, BQ, branch if equal. So it takes uh, three parameters or three, yeah, three parameters. The first register that you want to compare, that you want to compare to, the second register that you want to compare, and finally, it takes a label. But what is a label? Well, let me explain you. Well, let's say I'm I have a label. I'm gonna make it right now. So I'm gonna give it a name. Um, numbers equal. This is my label right here. So a label is just like right here. This is a label. This is a label. This is a label. It's just a, it's just a name with colon after it. So let's make a label. So my label is going to be number numbers equal. So there's going to be a body for the label and the body for the label is just like let's say um, the body for a function so it's just instructions or whatever you want to do so I just want to display loading load media dollar sign v0 comma 4 to display text load address dollar sign a0 comma uh, message and finally I want to do Cisco so this is going to display the numbers are equal but this is going to be displayed only if the numbers are equal. And I have to do the same thing right here. I have to specify that I have to specify that this is the end of the program. So uh, it's always, you know, because if you don't do this, right, if you don't specify that this is the end of the program in the label, then if there are more labels down here, then the labels are going to execute as well. 
So it's always good practice to do this as well. Right here. So um, this is the end. So we shouldn't go down here. Um, you don't have to in this case. So yeah. So let's see. Let's see how it works. So we have this right here. We have this code and we have these two numbers. 5 is in T0, 20 is in T1. So we're saying BQ branch if equals T0, T1, numbers equal. So if the value in T0 is equal to the value in T1, it's going to go to numbers equal. But right now, that is, that is not true. That is not true. Uh, they are different. So let's see what happens. Save, run, assemble, and execute. Voila. Nothing happened. It's it's just like uh, it's just like nothing happened, right? It's just empty. So, um, what if I what if they're equal? Let's say that I change five to twenty two. Okay, save it. So five now is twenty. I mean, it was five be five before. Now it's twenty. So they're equal now. So let's see what happens. Save, run, assemble, and execute. Voila, the numbers are equal. Let me show you again. So execute, the numbers are equal. So you see, this is very important because now you have the power uh, to tell the, the program to, to go to any, to any place you want to uh, according to a condition. So if the condition is met, then it's going to go to the specified label. So let's say uh, that I have 5 and 20 as it was before. Now the numbers are different, but I want to go here if the numbers are different. So the condition would be B and E, branch if not equal, branch if not equal. So if they're not equal, they're going to go to this label to numbers equal, but, but it makes no sense. So I'm going to say numbers different, numbers different. And right here, it's going to be numbers different. And the message is going to be the numbers are different. So we can see that if the numbers are different, which is true because 5 is different than 20 or from 20, um, it's going to go to numbers different. And numbers different is going to display the message. So, so let's go save, run, assemble, execute. Voila, the numbers are different. So because 5 is different than 20, then the numbers are different. And it's going to go to this place. What if they're equal? Well, if they are 20 and 20, then it's not going to do anything. It's not going to, it's not going to, um, you see, it's, it's blank, empty, nothing, white space, because it didn't, it didn't come here. So you can see we have these two instructions, uh, branch if equal and branch if not equal. And there's another, an, there's another instruction. This instruction doesn't take any condition and it's B or branch. So this is unconditional. So it's just going to go to a label. So if you just want to go there, you can just, you don't even need the numbers anymore. So you can just like, um, say branch to numbers different. So it's just going to, it doesn't matter if they're different. It doesn't matter if they're, if they're equal. It's just going to go to this place. It's going to go down here. So save, run, assemble, and execute. Voila. The numbers are different. One more time. Run, assemble, execute. The numbers are different. So it doesn't matter if I have uh, five again. It's going to do it anyways. So the numbers are different. So w today we have learned very important stuff. We have learned that you have three conditionals basically. There are more, but the other ones are pseudo instructions. So I'm going to teach you this later. But basically you have three. You have B, you have branch if equal, and you have branch if not equal. So these two, they take conditions and they're going to go to a label depending on if the condition is met. Um, and this one, is, it doesn't take any condition. So it's just going to go to the label. And remember, um, this line right here, 
right here Cisco to end the program this is very important because if you didn't if you didn't include the line right here this label would execute anyways so if you deleted this it would go to the label anyways so that's why it's very important to have this line right here so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, my name is Mel and and see you next time I hope you enjoy this and I hope that this knowledge is going to be useful for you. See you!